بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Finally Communicating Customer Value Chapter 14 Integrated Marketing Communications Strategy Finally the last element of a marketing mix Delivering your customer a positive message we developed a good product, I mean a product that satisfying our customer need want. And we set a reasonable price. And we offered our product in a right place, in a right market. And now we should deliver our customer a positive message. This is a promotion mix. A promotion mix, it's a combination of many communication tools or a channel of adver advertising, public creations, <coughs> personal selling, sales promotion, and finally direct marketing that a company used to persuasively communicate consumer value and based customer relations. Advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, public creation and direct marketing. <clears throat> advertising. Advertising it's a any paid form of non personal presentation and the promotion of ideas, goods or services by identified sponsor. Whatever this ads, it's uh, TV ads, broadcast, brand, internet, outdoor, whatever. Sales promotion. Sales promotion, it's a short term incentives we encourage the purchase of a sale or a sale of a product or service. We encourage our customer to try our new product or to switch from a product from a brand to another through advertising, through uh, discounts, coupons, displays, uh, uh, take three, one free offers, uh, a tasting campaign, and so on. Publication. Publication involves building good relations with a company various publics by obtaining a favorable publicity, uh, building up a good corporate image and handling or hitting off unfavorable rumors, stories and events, uh, press, sponsorships, special events, web pages and so on. Personally saying, it's a uh, it's direct contact. It's direct contact. It's a personal presentation by the firm sales force for the purpose of making sales and building customer relationship. Sales presentation, trade shows, incentive programs, and so on. Direct marketing involves making direct connections with the carefully targeting individual consumer to both obtain an immediate response and create a uh, listing consumer relationship uh, through the use of a direct mail, telephone direct response, television, email, and the internet to communicate directly with a specific consumer. And now, how to deliver your message to um, to a new uh, how how to how to deliver your message to your customer if you are introducing a new product. There are two there are two uh, promotion mix strategies. The first, it's pull strategy, and second, push strategy. Pull strategy means that producer will affect or we connect uh, the final consumer by marketing activities, like consumer advertising, sales promotion, and others.
And the customer will demand the product from a retailer, who will demand the product from a wholesaler, and the wholesaler will demand the product from a producer. This is a pure strategy. This is a pure strategy we can use if we are marketing a convenience, uh, a convenience product with a suitable uh, budget for advertising. Uh, and we target a large uh, segment size, a large segment. But if we target a, 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 a small size segment, and we haven't enough budget, and our product is shopping or specialty or maybe industrial product, we use a push strategy. The producer uh, promote uh, his message, his product uh, for a wholesaler by personally saying trade promotion and others. And the wholesaler will promote our product to a retailer and the retailer will promote our product to or push our product to consumer. We serve uh, marketing activities, personally saying, advertising, sales promotion and others. It means that push strategy involves pushing the product through distribution channel to find a consumer. Poor strategy, the producer directs its marketing activities, especially advertising and consumer promotion, toward the final consumer uh, to push them to buy our product. Pull and push strategy. Uh, if the pull strategy is effective, consumer will then demand the product from a channel members who will in turn demand it from a producer. Uh, we should know that uh, most large companies can use uh, some combination of a pull and push strategy. Uh, we should know that there are very significant relationship between a product type and promotion mix strategy. Uh, if our product is convenient, it's a pull strategy more suitable. Uh, the importance of different uh, promotion tools varies between consumer and business markets. Business to, to consumer, I mean B2C, companies usually pull more putting more for of their funds into advertising. But business to business, I mean B2B marketers, marketeers tend to push more putting more of their fund into personal sales. And also, the effects of a different promotion tool is also vary with a stage of the product life cycle. In the introduction stage, advertising and the public relations are good for producing a high awareness, and sales promotion is useful in promoting every trial. In growth stage, Advertising and the public relation continue to be powerful influences, whereas sales promotion can be reduced because fewer incentives are needed in a mature stage or the yeah, maturity stage. Yes, sales promotion again becomes important relative to advertising, and finally in a decline advertising is kept at a reminder level public creation is dropped and says people give the product only a little attention thank you my students and see you in another chapter inshallah